I don't know why, but I feel really smug. I was really ill this morning, but suddenly, suddenly for some reason, I've, uh, I became really like healthy and full of energy. One reason is because we're top of the league, but just sat down, eating my dinner, for put on a bit of YouTube, Nick and Andrew would pop up and the title was about eBay coming after the private sellers. So I was like, really? Well then, let's get the popcorn out and see what we can actually get out of this video. And fair play to you, Nick. You did an absolutely storming video. Absolute brilliant video. For us proper sellers, yes. Finally, eBay are cracking down, which I did say. You think you can get away with being a private seller and make as much money as us business sellers and laughing. You're not laughing anymore, are you? I'm not gonna go through the whole of Nick and Andrew's video because that's his video. But in a nutshell, eBay are doing what they said they was gonna do. If you are acting as a private seller, but acting like a business, they know who you are. Basically, they're coming after you. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. I have always said, if you're gonna act like a business, if you're gonna say you're a business, make it official. It should always be a business. I had it, I had it when I first started out, six months. Oh. Uh, you're not a business, you're not a business. And I didn't know, understand why people was having a go at me because I was making some money and I was like new to reselling. And I was like, why are you having a go at me for? What you want about be a business? I'm just selling stuff, you know? And then when I looked into it, I found out if you're buying stuff to resell, you have to be called a business. You can't do this as a part-timer. Basically, private accounts are for part-time. The whole vintage thing is about being a part-time seller or selling out off your old stuff. Yes, I know we all do it. We all do it. That's why Vintage Pros came out because they know. They know they can't get rid of all the people on Vintage because they know a big percentage of them are sellers. So that's why Vintage Pros out. So, yeah. It's been very, very good news. Literally in the last, well, I, I was going, I don't know why I'm looking at all the wrist angle watch on, but in the last 20 minutes. Also, it's been a quiet week, but just sold another wheelchair for 75 quid privately. So, cash in hand, easy money. Um, but yeah. The video of what Nick did on his YouTube channel, literally go and watch it. Um, he stated that somebody has messaged him with details who is a private seller and isn't really a seller in like what I would class Nick is. I am, you know, loads of people you watch on YouTube. And he said that he has been told literally told he's got 21 or 28 days i think to change his account to a business seller or you will be banned from ebay basically you'll be blocked you'll not be able to sell on ebay anymore yes i am so happy reason being 
all the people I've seen gloating about it, all the people have been boasting, not just doing videos or people commenting as well, like on my videos going, ha ha, oh well, I'm going to be able to sell loads of stuff and not get no fees and you're a business seller, ha ha ha. I'm like, yeah, but I'm least I'm legit, you know, at least I'm, I'm doing it the proper way, the way you're supposed to do it, you know. And now eBay are coming after you. So if you are a private seller and you do sell a lot, you better change because they will come after you. And then all that gloating was for absolutely nothing. I don't know why people argue with me. I don't know why people slate me because I come out with a video and tell you the truth. I tell you what's going to happen and what does happen. I said eBay will be coming after you. Do you think eBay is stupid enough to let these people sell thousands of pounds a month and just let you sell it for free without them getting nothing? The thing is, I don't know why I get so much hate because of my realistic, truthful videos. I don't say anything bad. I just say, you're going to get caught. Stop boasting about stuff. You know, I, I've, you look in my comments. Just look at my comments. Look at other people's comments in their videos. How the people who are private sellers are laughing literally at everybody. Right? I never had a problem with any seller. I don't care if you can get away with it. Fair enough. But I knew you'd never, ever be able to get away with it. The reason being, eBay are not being number one platform for selling stuff for God knows how many years. Plus being the most greediest platform in years. Thinking that you're going to get something for free now after so many years of like taking fees off you. They know how much you sell. They know what you make a month. They know how many things you sell a week. So they are just going to tot it all up and go, yep. You have to be a business seller. You have to be a business seller. Yes, you have to be a business seller. And if you don't like it, we're going to block you. The only trouble is what Nick said, and I do agree with Nick in this, is what about the people who don't really sell much or they just got a big lump of stuff and want to get rid of him? I don't think eBay are that naive and going to look well. They've just got a load of stuff and selling it, but they haven't sold anything for like months before. I think it's the consistent people who are consistently churning out money, churning out sales every single week. The thing is, eBay can see all your stats from everything. So they've probably looked at um, a cutoff range. If you sell so much or you make so much, if you go over that, that's it. You have to be a business seller. I don't want to gloat. But, uh, yeah, is it going to change anything? Absolutely nothing. It just means that people who have been private sellers for all their life doing reselling finally have to become a business. And most people, it won't affect, you know, if they pay their taxes. But I think it could affect a few people who are... Basically, tax dodgers, maybe got multiple accounts, uh, maybe like not being 100% uh, truthful when they're selling stuff. Uh, but most of you should be okay. You know, I'm saying mo I know some private sellers and it doesn't. Have, it's not going to affect them. They don't care. They just thought, well, never needed to be on a, a business, you know. Business sellers got knocked down, but we came back up and we got a punch in. And yeah, it's uh, all even. People, let me know down below, especially the private sellers, are you gutted that literally you couldn't even probably last a month with no fees? You're all right. Don't worry if you don't make much. Absolutely fine. Don't worry if you don't sell much. You're absolutely fine. But you people who <sighs> have been doing it for a long time and making out your business and say your business, well, now 
you will have to be a business. Like the big boys. Yes, like the big boys. So I'm now going to go and be smug for the rest of the night. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, let me know. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I might see you at Car Boom tomorrow. I don't know, but yeah, at this moment in time, I'm feeling good. Really good.